here we have the Better PLC website running on Force.com. I'm going to go into the retail shop. I'm going to go in as Jackie, who's a prospective customer, and she's looking at the television sets on our shop, and she wants to buy one, but she's looking for information about the delivery times, which she can't see. The proactive live chat pops up and is uh, relevant to the shopping basket she has and suggests that she talks to an agent. To talk to an agent, she fills in the pre-chat form with her name and email address, so very basic details. And if we already know about Jackie, the agent's going to get the, a, the record popped for Jackie already. She puts in a message and submits that uh, for an advisor to contact her. Our agent, Wendy, is going to respond to that. She's already got one case open on email, but she's got capacity to also uh, handle a live chat. We see here before she accepts, you can see the history of the information Jack has seen on the website already. She responds to Jackie's question. Uh, Hi, Jackie. Um, let me check that for you. Wendy uses the knowledge base, the articles in Salesforce, to find out information about delivery times. I'm just going to make this window a little bit bigger so you can see it. And here we have some information about the home delivery items, such as the home entertainment items, such as televisions. And she can see here quite quickly uh, the delivery times from 7 a.m. to 7 p.m. And she gives that information back to Jackie via the live chat. She could equally send an email as well if she wanted to. She not only tells her the times, but she also tells her the availability at the same time, because she can see that uh, from the products within Salesforce. Now, Wendy could uh, take Jackie through a sales process over the phone, but she decides to uh, complete the purchase online herself. She'd rather put her information into the website than hand it over to someone on live chat. So we complete a short survey, customer satisfaction, and get them feedback. So we do this in a very concise manner to encourage take up. So we go back to our shopping basket and we check out here. And again, this is all running on force.com. Now we could sign in or register using social channels rather than force people to go through lengthy username password challenges. And we've done that here and it's managed to also pull up um, Jackie's existing record and pull up her address details which we've edited. We also offer Jackie our prime delivery service which she's not already taken up. So she selects that from the basket and adds that to her order. And then she proceeds to the payment. Here we've just got a, a mock-up of a payment screen. so. Uh, you're not going to be able to reuse these payment details anyway, I'm afraid. Um, just to show you how the end of the process would work. And after completing her purchase details, uh, Jackie would get her usual uh, confirmation emails, uh, any other follow-ups, any other actions to notify about the delivery, or even contact from the logistics company that's going to deliver that item to her to tell her the time of day that's going to, going to arrive. Thank you very much for watching. In our next clip, we're going to look at Jackie's situation when she contacts customer service over multiple channels, including live chat, phone using new voice media and email. Thank you.